Hi, I'm Jamie Donaldson from Littleton, Colorado. I am a school teacher and an ultra runner. I am the current Badwater 135 mile course record holder. I was um, a marathoner and then I started to train um, beyond the marathon to get better at the marathon and I fell in love with the distances and just kind of went from there. Truthfully, it makes me feel alive. I, I just feel so great when I can be around amazing people and in beautiful places. Like a family. Um, everywhere you go, just everybody is so ready to help you out, ready to um, not worry about themselves but help everybody else out. They're just unbelievable. I have so many friends that feel like family now because of ultra running. Um, my first real ultra was um, the Leadville Trail 100. I finished fifth female in that race. It was, it's a really hard mountain race, so it's just finishing is amazing. I've always wanted to run Badwater. There's something really addicting about that race. It's such a mix of, of the hardest thing you've ever done to the greatest thing you've ever done. Bad Water is a 135 mile race um, in Death Valley, California from the lowest point to the highest point in the United States. Temperatures range from 120 degrees to 130 degrees. My time in Bad Water in 2007, my first year, was 41 hours. Um, it was an amazing experience, but very, very difficult. I, I was doing really well in the race and then just had a lot of things go on to, um, during it. My body just kind of wanted to be done. I tried a toe sock for my first bad water. One of my main problems in my first bad water was the blisters. I took my shoes off on mile 90. I couldn't even tell a blister from a toe and I couldn't even get my shoes back on. I've never seen so many blisters in my life. <laughs> it was, I can't believe I finished. <laughs> I changed my training, I increased my mileage um, significantly, did a lot more heat training. In 2008, on top of my extra training, I um, changed a lot of my gear, um, including my socks. I, I was very motivated because the I was leading for so much of the race and I knew that I could do better and that just kind of ate away at me for a whole year just thinking about how to do better so just tried to think of things to make my race better. My 2008 Badwater experience was just uh, far exceeded what I thought I could ever do especially after a rough 2007 coming back and just having pretty much everything work um, was unbelievable. In Badwater in 2008 I definitely changed my race strategy instead of going out fast I um, decided to be more contained in the beginning because it's really hot. <sighs> Turning onto the Mount Whitney Road, um, heading up to the portals to finish the, uh, the rest of the race. Um, I was currently in first for females and I um, just remember turning that corner and everyone was really excited like you're gonna win da, da. but I, I wasn't really confident about that um, until I got up a lot further. Um, I know Dean Carnassus was right behind me and Pam Reed was right behind him um, and it was just kind of keeping that pace a little faster than them hopefully to get there before anybody else. <laughs> On the way up, I remember we were four miles out and my husband said, can you do four miles in an hour? And I said, I, yeah, why? Yes, why? And he said, um, well, I think if you can do that, you can break the course record. So that just, just really gave me a lot of motivation to really get in there and get the, the race done. <laughs> my time in Badwater in 2008 was 26 hours and 51 minutes. Well, if you're going to break it, you want to do it pretty good, so <laughs> no one can reach it for a little bit. <laughs> I, I went into 2009 trying to have a little bit more fun, because 2008 was very focused on just getting this done the right way, and 2009 we really tried to have a lot more fun with that, with the race, and, and we did. I had some crazy pacers join me, and just a lot of fun people around. I pretty much kept um, to my plan from 2007 or 2008 since it worked really well, and and was actually doing a lot better in that race till about mile 90. I was about an hour ahead of my previous years. 
you never know what happens to yourself sometimes in the desert but with the heat but um, I ended up getting some swelling in my left leg and just uh, slowed me down in the last probably 20 miles of the race. It wasn't disappointing because I still had a pretty strong race. Um, I definitely would have liked to have broken my previous record, but I think just any time you finish a race like that, you are just so happy. <laughs> well, Drymax socks have changed my life, actually. I don't think I would be the kind of runner I am today without them. When you have blisters and foot problems, I, you feel it every single time. So just having um, socks so you don't have to worry about your feet. I put my Drymax Maximum Protection socks on. I don't lube my feet up or tape them and just put the socks on and I really don't even have to change socks at all during a race, it's including races that you go through rivers and snow. <laughs> I'm ultra runner Jamie Donaldson and for the last two years I've been running blister free with Drymax Maximum Protection socks.